Well, here he is, as promised. He's all finished. I just put the finishing touches on him last night. It's all airbrushed and ready to go. I will tell you, if you guys get this resin model, the biggest pain in the neck. And, well, a couple of things. First of all, his book comes... That's the way I painted his book. His book comes open. There's nothing here. So I just I just stuck a page of a, a Crypt Keeper page in there just to make it look full. Um, and the other thing is this hair right here. All of it is yarn that they give you. You got to cut it up and, and glue it on. And it, <clears throat> it made me nuts. So it's not as, as perfect as I want it to be. <clears throat> but it's not bad. Um, it was just a real pain in the neck. I use a crazy type glue to do this stuff with because it's much easier than regular model glue and every time I touched any one of these hairs it would it, it the only place it ever glued was on my fingers and nowhere else <clears throat> a royal pain that's what he looks like as his belt his hands the glue down in here one there his head uh, has to be glued on and then everything's airbrushed in uh, two different tones. So that's him. That's, that's what he looks like on the inside. He's hollow, but it's he's nice and solid. That's he's a actually, actually a really cool piece. I am I be, became one of my favorites very quickly. So TC Dungeon over and out. Finished product. The Crypt Keeper. Till the next one. Ciao for now.